Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you a dash cam stroke mirror. So basically this is a uh, mirror, but then it has a IPS display in there. The selling point for this one is one long piece of mirror, so 12 inch. Uh, touch screen, so you can touch control, there's no button that you don't need to fiddle around with, you just touch the mirror. And also it has a rear camera that you can attach to a parking light, which is pretty standard. And also the rear camera is supposed to be 1080p as well, which is very important because like, you know, a lot of the time you use it as a parking mirror, but also, you want to record footage from the rear end of your car, just in case there's any accident. For example, if someone rear end you, you want to see the number plate. Um, this one here is from a company called Promido, the model PR996. If you find my video useful and enjoy my video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and help me grow. You guys, the viewer, actually makes my channel possible. Let's open this and have a look. So this one comes in a nice sturdy box. Okay, so first thing is, yes, this is huge. Uh, you got AV in, you got GPS plug in here, you got a uh, media card slot on the top here. So you've got four things there. And the bottom there, I think is a power button. It doesn't say anything, but there's a button here and you've got two mics underneath. It does say it uses Sony sensor lens or Sony lens. I presume it is a Sony lens, but we'll, we'll see the quality uh, in the middle of the video when I start to do some testing. The front camera is a wider angle than the rear. The front is 170 and the rear is 150. So this camera here do have a bit of flexibility as you can see. You can tilt it up down so you can do some minor adjustment. You got a long piece of wire so this one will allow you to install your rear camera. So this needs to be long enough to reach the back of your car. So this is not a cheap plastic one. This is actually made of metal. You've got some 3M tape here for you to tape it on. I do strongly recommend don't just use the tape. If you do use the double-sided tape, make sure you clean it thoroughly. And then you've got some metal brackets. And besides, if you do a metal bracket, you can adjust the height uh, or the angle of the rear mirror. Mirror, camera. Okay, so I'm already impressed this is metal. Most of the one on the market, the cheap one is all plastic. This is the power supply for your um, dash cam. Oops. So again, good length cable here. You got the old old school um, USB port, and this is just a simple 2.5 A 5 volts thing. I I I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I like my install neat. So I usually um, tap the tap i usually tap the power from the fuse box or directly so it doesn't have this ugly thing sticking in your um, secret lighter thing but everyone to their own at least it come with one now this is sand disc but with some chinese writing on it so i'm not sure if it is true sand disc or not but we will find out that's the whole point of me doing this video right so i spend the money so you guys can uh, decide if you should follow or not so I will give you sample footage straight from the camera, just like how I usually do my tests. Uh, by the way, I, I, I buy my stuff from Amazon a lot now. I don't use eBay. eBay usually about 10-20% cheaper. But the reason why I buy from Amazon is because they got this very good refund policy. So this one here, manufacturer will guarantee for one year for faults and stuff like that. But usually if I buy things from Amazon, if I don't like it, I just return them. Um, the reason why you return them, you just take a quality not adequate and they, they take it back. Okay, so there is power now. Oh, I think I just missed the logo. So now is the time to peel off the plastic all the way through. So that's why this one is my choice because it's much wider than your 10 inch thing. And it's all touch screen, which is pretty amazing. I mean, the camera is over here, so you got your time on the side here, so obviously we need to set that. Um, you've got a company, <laughs> you've got a company name on the timestamp. I'm not sure how I felt about that, but I think that could be changed. I don't know. It comes with this and this uh, 32 gigabyte thing, uh, thing which is a micro SD card. So I'm going to put this in here. Oh, I got it right the first time. Usually, always get it right the other way wrong. Okay, so the SD card is now in there. It says here, wait SD card initiation process. 
just let it do its thing. So straight away it started to record. So this thing must have by default on recording mode. And it has a little like a red uh, timing thing here to tell you that it's actually recording. So you've got a trigger wire, red, and then you've got this side. So this side goes on to the top. AV in, I think. This one needs to go into this little type of connection. Ah, I see what happened there. I mean, it was so clear that I didn't know, I didn't kind of know exactly what happened. This is what happened when you don't read the instructions. So it got into a split screen because I pressed this button here. So this one is upside down because it's actually picking up signal from this camera straight away. It is pretty good for a rear mirror. Usually the rear mirror is the rubbish one. They uh, spend all the money on the front one and they don't spend enough money for development for the rear camera or they just cut corners. If I touch the positive on the trigger wire to, oh, I need something to hold it down, into that, it automatically switch to the reverse wheel and it actually gives you the reversing line as well so that you can, you can see where you're going. I am impressed. And this is an old Lexus a GS450H, which is a hybrid. Now, because my my rear mirror is quite big, so it does leave a little gap here. On my side, I don't really see it, so I don't really mind, but I know some of you might get a bit bothered with that. Starting the car now. Okay, so the starting view by default at the moment is the rear view camera. So you can um, scroll up and down to see the full view. I can see my neighbor chatting <laughs> outside the door, holding a dog. Uh, number plate wise, I can't really read the number plate on here. So uh, maybe that one, but definitely I can't read across the road. But we'll see what the recorded footage are like. I don't think um, tilting up and down will affect the actual recorded footage. I think the recorded footage is actually one big kind of a square. We're only looking at a narrow strip. So this is just your view, point of view in terms of where in the video is. If I give that one little click, so this is the front. So the camera is behind here, you can see my finger. So um, if you scroll down all the way, so in the actual video, you should be able to see some of the dash and then the bonnet, the whole side of the road, all the way to just the skyline, I think. If I move this one up a little bit, just make sure, because there's no point looking at the dashboard because you don't really see much of this less if I push it up a little bit more okay I think that's the maximum now so you can rotate you can see both screen front and back just the back and when you're ready to dry just click that button and it just turn off become just like a normal mirror does look a bit darker than my normal mirror but it's still still usable I don't know if you can see me so let's uh, just double check because I moved it didn't I yeah it looks it looks all right the bonnet line in the middle okay well, let's go for a test drive. I turn on the aircon so it's not too noisy, but um, it's getting a bit hot. Into my window. Now the the thing about my car, which is 450h, it kind of runs on battery right now, so that's why the engine is really quiet. I don't know if 
you can see it, but my rear real camera can see the tape when <laughs> I take down the mirror. That's so funny. Okay, let's go for a drive. You got some parked cars on each side. We are in London, kind of outskirts of London. So the road here is pretty wide. Uh, last time when I make a video, people were saying, "Oh, you drive on the wrong side of the road." Yeah, yes, we drive on the different side of the road. And they were saying, "Oh, you park with your, um, your, you have the rear, you have to use your rear to get out of the main road." You know what? In UK, that is allowed. Apparently, it's not allowed in some other country. This guy running, can you see the forest and shirt? I'm sure the camera will pick that up. Yeah, slow down a little bit. Just to show. use it as a mirror I, I suppose you can't use this as a rear rear mirror right yeah I, I actually prefer this than the mirror Okay, so I can see a woman walking towards us. Slowly, maybe we can catch her on the mirror. Dash cam. And we turn right. Yep, everyone is so polite here. This guy with a shopping bag. I think now I understand why, by default, the mirror is showing you the rear camera. It's because you can actually use this as your rear mirror. And to be fair, I think I prefer I prefer this view than the actual mirror. I don't know what the implication of using this as a rear mirror is that even legal I don't know but the option is you can always switch it off and just use it use the plain mirror here leave in a comment down below let me know is your country allow you to use this uh, screen as a reverse as a rear cam or is it not allowed I'm not too sure um, all in all, yes, aesthetically, I think it looks fantastic, but it's just a shame that, you know, the Lexus uh, mirror is already like a 12, 12 inch, so it doesn't cover the whole lot of it. Now, I'm not too bothered because I won't even see that part anyway. I'm driving on this side, but if you have OCD, you probably don't like what's happening there. And apart from that, I, I do I do really like the screen. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this in this video, but the full stretch, no notch. <laughs> so we use that. I know this probably sparked some debate because a lot of you guys have a phone with a notch, like um, like iPhone, <laughs> quite famous for that. Um, actually, just for a bit of comparison, there's a reason why I use the Mi 90 Pro. The reason why I use the 9 this one is because there's no notch can you see that there is no notch full screen and this is what I like and um, this all the way to the edge touch screen anyway
there's a lot more options that you can use. For example, I haven't wired in, I haven't hardwired in the reverse cam. So I did show you in my studio that, you know, as long as there's positive, it will show you the parking lines. Obviously this one doesn't have parking lines. It wouldn't have any parking lines until you actually powered the trigger wire with a positive 12 volt. I think the only thing which will improve on this product is if it is maintained the 12 inch length, but actually have even more screen estate. I think can do with another maybe one or two centimeters. Not only the longer the better, always the bigger the better, right? Or the fatter the bigger, the fatter the better. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. If you enjoy my content, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.